Welcome everyone. So today we will be solving two sum problem using two Golang. And now let's um, deep dive into the problem. So we have an array here and uh, we have a target here. What we want to find here is a pair of indexes, pair of indices in this uh, in this array that uh, whose values sum up to the target. So here, if the answer is 0, 1, then we will see that the value of value at index 0 is 2, value at index 1 is 7, and the sum of these two values is 9, which is our target. So we need to find a such pair of indices whose value equals target. So let's see how we will solve this. Um, so we have an array here and we have a target here. Uh, what we can do here uh, is we can create a hash map first. And with the help of a hash map, we can check whether each value has a, whether each value has appeared before or not. So let's let's traverse the array one by one. So we come at element two. We check whether uh, so when we come at element two, we'll calculate first the difference of target and the element itself. Um, so the target is nine. The element is two. So the difference between target and element is seven. Now we will check whether we have encountered 7 before in this array. So um, since we are at 2, we haven't encountered 7 before. Uh, because if we have encountered because if we had encountered 7 before, that means that we have arrived at our answer. Because 7, if we have if we had arrived at 7 before and now we are at 2, that means our index at 7 and our index at 2 will give us the answer, right? So um, since we haven't arrived at seven before, uh, we will store this in, in store the index of this value um, for future reference. So uh, so we will store hash of hash of two as zero. Hash of two as zero. Next we will come at seven. Now we will again calculate the difference between target and element itself. So the target is nine. The element is seven. So the difference between them is two. Uh, so since we have arrived at 2 before, we will check our hash map and we will see if we have arrived at 2 before and since we have arrived at 2 before, that means we have got our answer here. We have got our answer, we have got the answer as an index of 2 and index of 7. That is the answer. Now why we are cal calculating the difference of target and element itself? Because it helps us analyze whether we have actually encountered the remaining element, right? Because we need two elements to um that sum up to our target if we have our first element the only element that we need is the remainder of target and the element itself right now since we are at seven and we want our target to be nine then the only other element that we require is two the difference between target and element itself so we the only other element that we require is two to get to our answer right that's why we calculate the difference and check whether we have already encountered that element before and if we already had encountered that element before that means we already got our answer so let's quote this up quote this approach up um, so first and foremost we will be creating our hash map uh, so we will initialize our hash map um, so it will be pair um, key value pair of int and int next we will be looping over the uh, uh, target over the num slice in index, and then we will com uh, compute the difference between the element and the target. So we'll do target minus wall. We will declare the wall above. Then we will check whether the element is whether we have already encountered the element before that means whether the element is already present in our hash map so we can com compute index and is found uh, hash map uh, complement and if we if the element is already present in the hash map that means have, if we have already encountered the element before that means we have already found our answer. We will return an integer slice of um, the current index and the previous index. If we haven't already found the answer yet, then we will just 
store this index in our hash map. Store this values index in our hash map. Hash map uh, well equal to i. Right. Now, since if, if this loop has already executed and we haven't yet received uh, our answer, then we'll just return slice of minus one minus one. That means we don't have our answer here. Let's run this up and see if it passes our test cases. And it does. Let's submit it now. And it, it, is, it is accepted and we see it is pretty efficient. So that was all for today. We'll uh, in future we'll be solving more problems of lead code using Golang. So look forward to it. Thank you so much and bye.